So here come um, some of my favorite Celtic tunes. I hope you enjoy them. Here's probably the most famous um, non-jig from Ireland. I used today. <laughs> I had a little trouble with it, but I had to do it. You'll hear later. Um, so this is Lach Lomond. Oops. Wrong buttons. Oops. Sorry. Not working here.
one, the Sky Boat song. I didn't actually make it up to the Islands of Sky. But I like their single malt scotch from up there. <laughs> so this is Sky Boat song. mean and they don't have any words along with the music so I have no idea and I was gonna look but sorry this is Siob Hale Agrad S-I-U-B-H-A-I-L and then A and then G-R-A with an accent D-H sorry I don't know what that means but it's really pretty so I wanted to play it
an easier one to say. I still don't know what it's about or what the words are. Um, Eileen Arun. Trinity College uh, Book of Kells um, room. It was like Harry Potter. It was insanely gorgeous. I do have pictures on my Facebook like, from a year ago, if you want to look at it. So anyway, I added a harp at the very end there. <laughs> you might have heard it. It's just my little Celtic harp. Okay, this is another one from that same book. Um, it's also um, very pretty but I don't know anything about it. It's called Carlo Tune. So feel free, if you know any of these songs, please comment.
was in a different key, but I have these little levers on my little harp that can change C, F, and B to either C sharp or C natural, F sharp, F natural, or B or B flat. So I did that with the F sharps. So that was Carlo tune. And now another one that doesn't have words. I just love the tunes. <laughs> I hope you do. This is the Irish boy. maggot. <laughs> anyway, it's fun. So here comes Everybody's going home after the party or hanging out or whatever. This is Parting Glass. And I liked it so much I put it on two of my CDs. <laughs> the first CD is the green one, um, the Cynthia and Friends. It's all Celtic and Medieval, 72 minutes of it. Um, it's with my friend Terry on harp. And um, it, we recorded in the um, Chapel of Our Savior Episcopal Church down by the Broadmoor and the acoustics are big. Fantastic. And while I was there, I recorded some uh, organ tracks also, and those are going to be on my next CD, which I am hoping to have done by Christmas. So we'll see. And then the other one I did with Susanna Schultz on my Castles, Cathedrals, and Christmas CD. Um, so this is Parting Glass.
That looks like my Tashi likes Celtic music. <laughs> All stretched out and relaxing. Um, I played a Shogun Farewell at a, a friend's house, actually. And her kitty did not like the violin. <laughs> but I guess Tashi does. It's very hot, though. Um, she might be trying to cool off. So, here is one of my favorite ever bagpipe tunes. Um, this is one I put a little chanter on at the very end. <laughs> so, sorry for the one little problem you'll hear. The rest is okay, I think. Um, I'll put a link below so you can um, listen to the really cool version. This is from The Last of the Mohicans. Um, James Horner wrote it. Um, but it's called The Gale. It needs drums. And it needs bagpipes. But it's so cool. I had to do it. So here it comes. chanter. I'm going to do it again. Sorry, you have to hear it. I hope you don't mind. Here comes the right recording.
it's just a color. <laughs> Hope you liked that. Um, thanks for indulging me to do it twice. Um, and now a farewell song. I actually got to play this with bagpipes at my Scottish friend's funeral. She used to live across the street and um, we sing this on New Year's Eve and so many people have been leaving. Um, I just want to play this for them, especially for Jen. Her brother left this week, um, Don Ward, and I just can't wrap my head around that. So here's for Jen and all the other friends that have left. too hot this week and I hope to see you on Sunday.